Okay, hello everyone, I hope that you're well. Uh, a couple of you have said that you're finding some of the more complicated questions quite difficult. Um, please let me know if that is the case and I'll happily make some videos. Um, I've done quite a few videos for other year, primarily year 12 if I'm honest. Um, I'm more than happy to do it for you guys as well. Okay, right, I'm going to start with this one, question four. ABC is a right angle triangle. I know that the length AC, so from A to C, is 14 centimetres. I know that angle C is 90 degrees. Okay, size of angle B to the size of angle A is 3 to 2. So I know the ratio of angle A to angle B is 3 to 2. Right, with that information, it's going to enable me to work out what angle A is and what angle B is. Because the piece of information that I know, which is key to all of this, is that angles in a triangle add to make 180. This angle is 90. So if I do 180 degrees minus 90 degrees, it obviously means that these remaining two angles have to add to make 90 degrees. And that 90 degrees is split in the ratio of 3 to 2. So what proportion is this? Well, this is 3 out of 3 add 2 is 5, so 3 fifths. And as we said, that's going to be of 90 degrees. And therefore, angle B is going to be 2 fifths of 90 degrees. So 90 divided by 5 times 3 is going to mean that this angle here is 54 degrees. And this angle here is 36 degrees. Let's do one check that I can kind of do. So let me add them together. Do they add to make 90? Yes, they do. If I simplified this ratio fully, would it give me 3 to 2? Yes, it would. Okay, so now I've worked out that angle A, which was 3 parts, was 54 I know that this is 54 degrees. And I know that angle A is 36 degrees. It's a right angle triangle. So I'm asking myself, am I going to use Pythagoras? Am I going to use Sokotoa? In this case, I'm going to use Sokotoa because I have an angle and a side. Now, it depends what angle you want to use. In this case, I could use either. But I'm going to use this 36 degree one here. Yeah. And then I'm going to label my sides. So if this is 36. What length did it want again? Work out the length AB. AB. I don't know what that is. Let me just call that X. Right. So if this is the angle that I'm looking at, this would be my opposite side. This would be my longest side, which would be my hypotenuse. And the angle, this one here would be, sorry, this length here would be my adjacent side. Okay, I could label this as O. I might as well just label that as O as well. So just to be clear, in this circumstance, I'm not using the fact that this is 54 degrees. I'm going to be using this angle here, 36 degrees. Right, label, what do I have? What do I want? I have an angle in a side in a right angle triangle. Next thing I'm going to do is list my so ka toa. Then let's just look at those last two letters of each of those. O H A H O A. Which one uses A and H? That's this one here. This is the one that I want. Write out the angle rule. Because of my angle, and we call an unknown angle theta, just means an unknown angle. This is just the angle rule. Cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. I now have the correct angle rule. Fill in the information that I have. Cos of my angle, in this case I've got my angle which is 36 degrees, equals adjacent, which in this case is 14,
cos 36 equals 14 over so adjacent over hypotenuse over x right well this is a nine because this is one of those more complicated ones where the thing that we don't have the thing that we want is the denominator so i'm going to have to rearrange this equation to make x the subject the shortcut methods i don't like shortcuts we're good at rearranging formulae so x is the denominator i don't currently want it as my denominator what can i do if I multiply that by x and multiply this side by x, that's going to leave me with x times cos 36 or just x cos 36 equals 14 divided by x times x is just 14. x is being multiplied by cos 36, so let's divide by cos 36 on both sides. That's just going to leave me, so these cos 36 divided by cos 36 is just going to leave me with x equals 14 over cos 36. Put that into my calculator and rounded, and this is where we could potentially lose a mark to three significant figures, is 17.3. Centimeters. Right now, what I always like to do is come back to my diagram and see is that does that look like a ludicrous number? Well, there's one way I can check it. First off, I know that this has to be the longest side, so in the event it was less than 14 centimeters, it would definitely be wrong, but it's not, it's slightly more than 14 centimeters, and 17 centimeters is not a million miles away. If this was like 1000 or something, then I know that this would be definitely be wrong. Okay, so. This is my final answer. That's not me crossing it out. Apologies, that's me underlining it. Correct, correct to uh, three significant figures. Thank you very much.